Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. So in today's video, we're going through a really quick basic configuration guide in Windows Server 2022. In this video, we're actually using the server core and we intend to release more videos about Server 2022, so stay tuned for those. If you have questions about installing Windows Server 2022, we have a video covering that. You can find the link to that right here. Now, before we get into today's video, if you're interested in your own copy of Windows Server 2022 or other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll have links in the description box below. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so we have Windows Server pulled up right now. First thing I have to do is press Control Alt Delete to initiate the sign in. I'm gonna enter my password. All right, so we're gonna start in the server configuration panel. Upon login, it's gonna load this by default and the server configuration is called sconfig. So we can start with number two, which is computer name. Just type the number two, press enter. Here we can enter a new computer name. We'll press enter. And then here we just type a Y for yes to confirm press enter and it's going to restart the server and after we set our computer name we can set our static IP address it's going to be number eight now usually in this case you're going to go with your first option number one here I'm not actually configuring the network but number one and then your next option will be DHCP or static IP address you can do S or D to enter that command and then your subnet mask which usually you're just going to leave that blank so you'll press enter one more time and then you're gonna enter your default gateway. Option number nine will give us our date and time. And from here, we can change our time zone if we choose to do so. Option number 10 will give us our telemetry settings. Here we can select yes to edit and then one to turn off our telemetry. And finally, we can install updates on option number six. Here I'll go with option one. And once that's completed, we're gonna to wanna to reboot the server. Now, another thing you're likely gonna to want to do upon configuring server 2022 is format your disks. So we'll enter 15 to close command line and enter PowerShell. Now get dash volume is not gonna show any additional hard disks, whether you did virtual hard disks with a VM or if you have a physical server machine. So in the case that you have additional disks, whether virtual or physical, you'll need to format them. Now here, I'm not going to be formatting my drives, but we'll type an example command. You can type get disks to see your available drives. And to select a disk, we can enter get dash disk space, then we'll enter dash number, space, and then the number of the disk, in this case zero. We're then gonna pipe that into initialize disk. I'm pressing tab to autofill the command lines here, and we're gonna select the partition style of GPT. The pass through parameter will allow me to pass the object through the pipeline to create an NTFS volume and assign a drive letter with a new volume command. And in order to see this better, I'm gonna put this on a new line. The friendly name is optional, but assigning a label to a volume will help identify its contents. This drive specifically will host the NTDS database, so I'll name it NTDS. All right guys, so that's gonna do it for today's video. If you have any questions about what we're doing here today, drop those in the comment section below, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Again, if you're interested in genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll have all those links in the description box below. If you enjoyed the video, we'd really appreciate a like, comment, subscribe, and share. And again, stay tuned for some more videos covering Windows Server 2022. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.